Hi everybody, welcome back to the Renaissance Woodworker. Welcome into my shop. You can see I've got my relatively new spring pole lathe here, and I've really enjoyed working with it, so much so that I've decided to build another pole lathe using a different design. This one I set up in my backyard. So follow along as I build what I like to call my backyard bungee lathe. Let's start by cross-cutting some two by sixes to 60 inches in length. These will eventually be our bed rails. Now I'm gonna take a four x four of Douglas fir and cut it off to 49 inches long. This may vary based upon your height. We want the bed rails to be about hip height. Now I'm gonna take those two by sixes and I'm gonna rip them to four inches wide. This sets the final dimension for the bed rails, four by 60. Now I wanna take my Douglas fir posts. These are four by fours that are eight feet long clamp them together and mark a dado across them that is the width of the bed rail the dado depth i think is about a half an inch it doesn't really matter that much but you want to put this dado on both sides of the duck fur beam so saw out the outer edges of the dado and grab yourself a honk and chisel and a mallet and whack out the waste in between this is very therapeutic stuff come back from the other side and just kind of pare your way down to the lines this will leave you with a surprisingly clean dado bottom and you'd be surprised how easy it is to get it nice and flat to the same depth just using a chisel. Clean all the dust out and you can see we've got a nice hammer tight fit. I'll flip it over and use the location of the first side dado to mark out the dado on the other side. Now I'm going to draw a 45 degree angle on the end of the board and I'm going to draw an opposing 45 degree angle so that the width matches the reveal of the bed rails. You'll understand that in a minute. Now I just need to saw out that 45 degree angle and then saw the flat on the very end. This is that opposing 45 degree angle. I'll grab a block plane and just clean this up, flatten it out as best I can. It doesn't have to be perfect here. And with it flattened out, you can see how that 45 and 45 nestles right underneath the bed rail. Then mark that shape out on your other four legs. I'm going to screw just some scrap pieces to the bottom to hold it at that angle and then use my brace and bit with a half inch auger bit to drill all the way through the assembly. Now I'm just going to square out a right triangle. Saw that out and it reveals an area where the bolt can go. This is a create your own bolt set from Home Depot. It's got washers, lock washers, and nuts. Feed it all the way through. This was necessary because I really couldn't find a bolt long enough. Use a hacksaw to saw off the end of the bolt to get it to approximate length. One 24 inch one of these threaded rods is enough for both of your legs. I'm out in the backyard. I clamped together the ways originally and I'm just drilling all the way through bursts out on the other side there and I'll grab a 8 inch carriage bolt and knock it into place use a washer and a nut and tighten the bed rails to the uprights now I'll grab your brace and braid again a quarter inch auger and drill holes in the top of each of those 8 foot posts and then screw in an eye bolt then with a length of bungee, this is just luggage rack bungee, I'll tie it in place. And that completes the frame of the backyard bungee leg. 